Hi everyone and welcome back to some more Battle Brothers. So, I was just selling some junk to make more inventory space and I noticed there's a long axe available at the weaponsmith. And I'm definitely going to buy one, it's a pretty good price as well. It's a 200 axe with total range, so we can use it with our second line to destroy shields. I might even give it to Torleaf. He's very close to level 7 and once he hits level 7 we can pick up quick hands. But it's still useful even without quick hands, so sure, let's use it. And let's go finish our contract. It might actually be a good idea to roam around a little bit to collect more heads. I'm pretty sure we'll get paid for them, even though the contract says it's for heads collected on the road. But we got 6 days to turn in the contract. Let's go explore a little bit, see what we can find. Maybe we can find more raiders or some undead. Wait, what's this? A brigand leader, some brigand raiders, a few marksmen and thugs, a cutthroat's hideout. Yeah, let's attack that. That sounds very promising. We might get some good gear from the leader. We'll give it a shot, they got two marksmen. Okay then. We do have a few wounded people, like Arn. No, they got three marksmen, right. I think we should move in more aggressively. Yep, I think so, otherwise they will just keep shooting us. That's definitely not what we want. We could try to use the high ground for our ranged guys. That sounds like a pretty good idea. Yep, let's move towards the high ground, I like that plan. And also move towards them. Which one is the leader? This guy. The Butcher, okay. Hopefully we'll get some nice gear from him. Let's be careful here, we got a few wounded guys. Torleaf to the high ground. And a few guys with shields to the front. Pierced chest on Thoris mode, that's not great. And Arn is badly wounded, we need to keep him away from the marksmen. If at all possible. This might be a rough fight. Kneels to the high ground. Yeah, we need to be aggressive here. Otherwise, this will end poorly. I can already see that. We need to get lucky with the marksman. We might be able to kill the marksman with Reinhold, because he has an attack that can hit two enemies in a line. So we can use that to kill marksman in the second line. We'll see how it goes. A lot of shield wall so far. That's okay. Yeah, they aren't doing a whole lot. Just chilling. Alright, Casimir. Well, some of them will still get to move. Let's not expose Casimir too much. Yep, they are targeting our guys without shields. And I think that one was targeting Arn, which makes sense, he's basically almost dead. I think I'd rather keep him way out of their range. That will make him fairly useless, but better useless than dead. So, let's start moving in. And Torleaf can take a shot. We could try to kill one of the thugs, that will hurt morale of all the guys around him. Okay, nice. That's not the target I was trying to hit, but it's good enough. Yeah, nice. We hit the marksman. Okay. Wait, no. We killed the marksman. Good job. That was way better than I expected. And should we move into melee range? Yeah, I think. Oh, right. That guy had spear wall active. Whoops. My bad. Okay. Looking good. Let's not move in. What do we do with Gustav? Let's try to be careful. I'd like to use Reinhold right here. Oh, no, damn it. I wanted to hit two guys in a row, but we can still do it. With Reinhold. He just needs to get his turn. 
As for Godhart, I'm a little bit worried about him. Yeah, let's be careful. Wouldn't want him to die. Nils. Okay, move in, but be careful. And now we can try Reinhold. And split, that's the attack. This will hit two targets in a row. Hopefully. There we go, nice. And they are both injured. Cut artery. And cut leg muscles. Very nice. So we could try to kill the thug. But then we will get surrounded on Gerhard. That's probably not a good idea. No, not really. Let's play it safe. Ish. Decent. Anyone else? Nope, that's the turn. I wonder how dangerous that leader is. The Butcher. He's using some ranged weapons. These are throwing axes. I don't like that too much. And yeah, Gerhard already took a bit more damage than I wanted him to take. This is going to be a tough fight. No doubt about that. We need another good turn or two. Yeah, not a great start, I have to say. Gerhard is in trouble. He might die. Unfortunately, I think we need to take a risk. Yeah, that didn't do a whole lot. Descent. There, another kill. The thug is fleeing. I need some of the others to flee. Hopefully they will if we get another kill. Please don't die on me, Gerhard. Yeah, he's going to die. I don't think I can save him at this point. Seems rather unlikely. We should probably swap to the axe. Yep, let's do that. And we can use it on the next turn. Godhard. Let's try to kill the thug next to Gerhard. And miss terribly. <laughs> yep, he's dead. No, he's not dead. He's struck down. Okay, that does mean he will get a permanent injury, but... At least he's not dead. I hope this fight will be worth it. Only one way to find out. Let's move in and try to kill the thug. Yes, he's fleeing, but if we kill him, that might make the others flee. Or we can miss. Come on. We can still try. There, he's dead. They are not fleeing, but they are breaking. They should flee. If we do any more damage. There. Yep. The marksman is fleeing and the raider is fleeing. We still got the butcher. Okay, Godhart is in trouble now. This is going to be rough on our flank. Yep, he's down to 7 health. And... Okay, we need help on this flank. Otherwise it will end poorly. I can't move. And I'm wounded. This is going to be rough. So, the axe. Can't use it on this turn. We are too far away. Alright. So, unfortunately, I can't move. Because then I'll just die. We can try a stun. Yep, that worked. He's still in trouble because of the raider, but... At least that's one enemy that won't be able to attack him on this turn. As for Erhard... Yeah, this guy is wavering, but he's not fleeing. Not sure if we can make him flee. We can try... But I don't think he's going to work. I can't use rotation because I don't have enough fatigue. Well, let's engage the leader then, shall we? There, that was a really nice hit right there. And fairly low chance to hit. Let's see if we can kill the leader before he kills us. Because Reinhold's armor is gone. He still has headgear, but yeah. We need to get lucky with the leader. 
Okay, so far so good. He is bleeding. So that's good. Let's try to break his shield. And... Right, the raider. I can't move because I will just die if I try that. Wait, hold on, I can move because he's fleeing. Whoops, my bad. Yep, that was a mistake. But it's fine. I'm mostly worried about Godhart the sheep right now. Because he's very, very close to dead. I hope he can survive this. He has what? 7 health. Not much. Cut artery, yep. So, Erhard. Right, this is the raider that's not fleeing, he's just wavering. Well, all we can do is attack, and now we can move. Okay, nice. I think he's going to be fine. He's not bleeding, he's just really low on health. Come on, destroy the shield. Or not. There, the raider is dead. I think we got this. We'll have quite a few injuries. I'm not sure if this was worth it. We'll see what kind of loot we'll get. Hopefully some good armor from the butcher. We are about to find out. Let's back up from that guy. He's using a two-hander. Oh, and we might want to use a bandage on this guy. We do have some bandages. I don't remember who exactly has them. Thoris mod has a bandage. I can't really use it on this turn. We can use it on the next turn. All right, you stay down here. Oh, wrong attack, damn it. I should have used split shield. My bad. There. We just need to kill the leader, although the marksman is not fleeing. Yeah, might want to go attack the marksman as well. But I'm prioritizing the butcher right now. He's the most dangerous guy around here. He will continue to bleed. But he still has more than half health. Okay. So, Casimir. Yep, he's about to die. We got this. Bandage. Don't die on me, bro. <laughs> You're not allowed to die. I'm glad I had the bandages. I guess we basically need bandages for every fight at this point of the game. Because bleeds happen way too often. And it's so easy to die from bleeds. Anyway, let's go and finish this. I hope this was worth it, because we'll have one guy with permanent injury. We'll find out. Let them run, it's fine. What did we get? We got some level ups. What's the injury? Weakened heart, minus 30% hit points. Okay, that's kind of bad. We'll probably have to use a two-hander on him instead. Yep, sounds like it. Okay, well, I guess he will use a two-hander. So, what's the loot? Anything exciting? We got a decent helmet. Some hatchets, pickaxe, bundle of throwing axes. 20 to tools and supplies. Okay. Ammunition. Right, we can't grab everything, so let's grab the things that actually matter. We can get rid of some arrows. I definitely want that helm. Oh, 200 armor helm, nice. Definitely want that. And the rest is mostly relevant, I guess. We can grab the things that are worth a little bit more. So, the short bow is worth 180. I think we got a few knives that we definitely don't need. So, get rid of them and 160. Yeah, the armor is worth a little bit more. And one of the shields. The shields are worth 90. Okay, good enough. I think that was worth it.
Shame we got a pretty bad permanent injury, but... Eh, whatever. He's going to be reserved. Let's check the level ups. So, first of all... Plus 4 melee skill. Plus 3 melee defense and some fatigue. As for the perk, I might grab student to catch up a bit. Okay, God hurt the sheep. How are you doing? Yeah, he is fine. Ish. Let's see, plus 3 melee skill, 71 melee skill, nice. He has the highest melee skill out of anyone in our company. Some fatigue. And what else? Not worth getting plus one melee defense. Let's get some health. Okay, looks good. I think he has the best stats out of any of our brothers at this point. And what do we want? I might pick up underdog, that's a pretty damn good perk. Especially for anyone on the flank. So let's grab that and we'll move him to the flank. That seems reasonable. Any defense malus due to being surrounded by opponents no longer applies to this character. Yep, we definitely want that. Okay then. Any more level ups? Yes, Arne the Butcher. Let's see, plus 4 range skill, 72, that's much better. And what else? Maybe some health? Health and ranged defense. As for perks... I'll have to think about this one. What are the options? What's his initiative? 24, so not amazing. Backstabber is melee only. What are some of these? Reach advantage? Each hit with a 200... Oh, never mind. Overwhelm. Right, Overwhelm does work with ranged weapons, but we need high initiative. Because otherwise it will basically do nothing. Who has the highest initiative? I mean, he does have one star in initiative. So we can always work on it. But take Casimir the Drunk, he has 94 initiative. So that's so much better. He would be better off with that perk. We would have to work on initiative if we want to pick that up on Arn. Because his is just not amazing. What are the other options? He already has Pathfinder. He has fast adaptation. We can pick up Crippling Strikes. Alright, sure, let's grab Crippling Strikes. That's always a good option to have. And I think that's it. We probably want to swap out Gerhard. Minus 30% hit points. I mean, he might still be fine with Colossus if we work on his health a little bit. But first we need to get rid of these temporary injuries. In any case, he's going to be in reserves for a while. Okay then. And who will move in? Oh yeah, Steiner has a pretty bad permanent injury. How's Siegfried doing? He still has the injury, but I think he can move in safely. And we'll give him the helm and some armor. I guess this is the armor, because that's the best one we have. As for the weapons, let's see. First of all, a shield, preferably one that's not broken. I'll take your shield, thanks. And the weapon. A spear? A spear is fine. His chance to hit won't be amazing just yet. And that's it. Yep, looks like it. We might want to visit the temple sometime soon. And I think we are also going to need medical supplies soon. First, let's go back and get paid. And yeah, 21 out of 25. So we don't need heads collected on the road. Just any heads at all. This text is slightly misleading. 1400 crowns. That was definitely worth it. And now I can sell all this junk. But I'm going to do that between the episodes. So this one is done. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.